Welcome to Proven Improbable, where we deliver mining insights and bullion sales in the form of physical delivery, offshore depositories, and private blockchain distributed ledger technology. Welcome to Proven Improbable, where we provide mining insights and bullion sales. I'm your host, Maurice Jackson. Joining us for a conversation is Dr. John Mark Stoudy of Riverside Resources. Dr. Stoudy, welcome to the show. Great to be on the show, Maurice. John Mark, earlier this year, Riverside Resources entered into a strategic funding agreement with multi-billion dollar market cap BHP. For those not familiar with the details of this agreement, please share them with us. It's excellent. For Riverside, it provides at least two years and maybe more of full funding by BHP of over a million dollars a year to generate new projects. Then, as we generate new projects, every additional project we do gets a half a million dollar technical work program as well. On top of that, it's over five million dollars of spending by BHP for them to earn in to a 70% interest. So what we're doing is we're allowing for BHP to earn into projects but what's really great for Riverside is we have that funding to go forward and explore in Sonora, Mexico. It's a real win-win type of strategic program we're doing with BHP. Sticking with BHP, are there any updates that you can provide for shareholders since the signing of this agreement? Here in Northwest Mexico, in this part of Sonora, Mexico, Sonora is the major mining state. And Riverside, with our program with BHP, is working in this orange area, which is the right age rocks. It's called Laramide. The Laramide rocks are the right age rocks for copper. These are some of the centralized areas that have copper mining, big mines and copper operations. What we've been doing in the last six months is now developing our own projects along these belts. This belt here, the Cananea belt. This belt here, the Caridel belt. Over here, Suaki Verde and Suaki Grande, other areas. We've now been able to update the shareholders that Riverside has been able to get targets going forward. We're excited to be working in these mineralized areas and finding new targets that we will be able to, in the next six months, have news flow from the acquisition and then further follow up of, towards drilling of these different targets for copper. We really like this region and we're very excited to have BHP funding our program here. Looking forward, John Mark, what is the next unanswered question that Riverside Resources will be answering for the market regarding its work with BHP? And you alluded to six months is the next time we should hear a response, but what will determine success? So first off, we will hear even before six months is the new acquisition of properties. So news releases about that. Secondly, about high value work programs. Those are those $500,000 additional funding programs that we're doing with BHP. In the next three months, we expect to have a couple of those coming forward, so that's good. What will be success first is BHP funding it, and secondly will be the results coming out of that. We know this is a prolific belt. Up here in the north in Arizona, there are over 17 major copper mines, yet in Mexico, there are only six. We think this shows a great potential for finding of more. So what will be success will be us acquiring properties, us moving those forward, and eventually with us drilling. Drill discoveries, we've heard about them just up here in the north with big transactions and big deals out of Tucson, Arizona, just to the north of us, really leaves us feeling that there's a great potential here in Sonora, Mexico. So we're delighted now to be moving forward with those different target areas with BHP. Moving on to the remaining project portfolio, the Property Bank has expanded quite considerably this year. Please provide an overview of the property acquisitions for this year. Yeah, and this year we've had some major ones. One of them is the Cecilia project here. Also near Ariel, we have the Los Corentas. And what we have in these projects in this area of Sonora is gold near the surface, very good. One of the things we've had in news flow at Los Corentas was the fact that we had the work Next to us, Santa Gertrudis Mine, Premier Gold Mines, Santa Elena, the development of that by First Majestic, and even the Silvercrest. So right in the middle of this map here, right in the middle here is where Riverside's been able to go and are diversifying our portfolio. So we're very excited by that, surrounded by other projects as well, makes the Sonora State great for Riverside. John Mark, take us to Canada and share with us the project portfolio expansion there. Riverside during this year has been expanding into Canada very well. We've been working in the province of Ontario because it's one of the major gold producing provinces in the country of Canada. Ontario produces over 43% of all the gold 
in Canada. And in that, it comes from a belt of these type of gold deposits, these shear zone gold, like we have at our Oaks project, and further to the west at our Long Rose project. Both of these are part of the Geraldton Beardmore Gold Belt. This is a prolific gold belt with over 8 million ounces of resources and past production, and we see good potential at Oaks. We'll have news flow coming in the next three months from Oaks, from the sampling and field work, and also at Long Rose, where we have shear zone gold near to the old Beardmore Mine. Beardmore Mine produced over a million ounces at one ounce per ton. A nice high-grade operation at Beardmore. So we like these high-grade near-surface gold projects are excellent additions for Riverside's portfolio. Dr. Stoudy, when can shareholders expect to hear the next press release regarding one or more of the aforementioned projects? Yeah, in the next four weeks, we'll actually have news. We're working on getting the final results put together, and we'll look forward to keeping the the updating of the shareholders. Very excited about us. Moving into November will be a really good time with news flow from Riverside. Switching gears, John Mark, please share the current capital structure of Riverside Resources. Riverside continues to have a tight share structure with 63 million shares out, a good cash position of over two and a half million cash, and no debt. Additionally, our $1 million a year coming in from BHP helps us to keep that burn rate low as we continue to grow the portfolio and work with joint venture partners. Sir, when was the last time you purchased shares and at what price? Actually, I'm purchasing shares right now at 15 cents. It's a low price for us, and so I'm delighted to be able to pick up shares here. It's a wonderful time, and with the news out, I can do that now. We've been in a bit of a hold period with this news, wanted to get it out, and now we can buy more shares as Riverside. In closing, sir, what keeps you up at night that we don't know about? You know, really the speed. Riverside wants to get news out there, and we're pushing hard. Also, the access to capital for partners. It's just really difficult right now for other people. Riverside's in a good position with cash, good position with no debt, but other companies. Those are the two things that we're working very hard at ourselves to get partners funding and move things ahead quickly. We really want to make a great discovery for Riverside shareholders. Finally, what did I forget to ask? I think you've done a lot of good stuff. And I think the thing is, the Riverside's mainly, you know, what you're not asking is, what's next? Besides the news flow, what also is next is continuing to grow in Canada. We like Canada. We have a presence in Canada. So we're excited to do that. Diversification beyond Mexico, where we're very strong. But Canada is wide open for us as well. It flavors on our experience, us living in Canada, working with Canadians, continues to build on a daily basis and strength we have coming out of Mexico. Dr. Stoudy, for someone listening that wants to get more information on Riverside Resources, please share the contact details. Please call us at 778-327-6671 or come to the website at rivres.com. And as a reminder, Riverside Resources trades on the TSXV, symbol RRI, and on the OTCQB, symbol RVSDF. Before you make your next bullion purchase, be sure you call me. I'm a licensed representative for Miles Franklin Precious Metals Investments, where we provide a number of options to expand your precious metals portfolio from physical delivery, offshore depositories, precious metal IRAs, and private blockchain distributed ledger technology. Call me directly at 855 855- 505-1900 or you may email maurice at milesfranklin.com Finally, we invite you to visit provenandprobable.com where we provide mining insights and bullion sales. Riverside Resources is a sponsor of Proven and Probable and we are proud shareholders of Riverside Resources for the virtues conveyed in today's message. Dr. John Mark Stoudy, thank you for joining us today on Proven and Probable. The information presented on Proven and Probable is provided for educational and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information is not intended to be and does not constitute financial, investment, or trading advice, or any other advice. You should not make any financial, investment, or trading decision based on any of the information presented without first undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or competent financial advisor.